It's 2024, and that means it's time to glow the frick up. I'm talking nails, tan, vision board making, working out, cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, skincare, makeup, and much more. So grab yourself a snack, strap in, because it's gonna be a long one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie, it's nice to meet you, and welcome to my first video of 2024. It is actually the 9th of January, 2024 right now, and I was planning to get this video done earlier, but I've just been in Canberra spending a lot of family time Honestly, the time from Christmas to New Year's is wild. I was like in a daze the whole time, just full of so much leftover Christmas food. But it is finally time to get my life together for 2024 because you and me, we are gonna have the best year of our lives this year. I'm calling it right now, 2024 is our year. But we can't just expect it to become our year. We need to do things to make it our year. I think we just need to do a full on, physical and mental glow up. Some of the things I wanna do today is make a vision board because I haven't done one yet. And I'm just ready to start the new year looking like a sexy biatch. So we're gonna do some self care today. I also want to get my mum to cut my hair. We're also gonna work out because girly, this is the year we are gonna be in the best shape of our entire life. I'm starting my running journey and I'm gonna go on my first ever run today. And the first thing that I need to do is get these damn nails done because they are looking crusty. My natural nails are so damaged from getting acrylics and I've heard that Builder in a Bottle is supposed to be healthier. I'm thinking I'm gonna get some short nails today, which I don't usually get short nails. I feel like my hands look really stubby, but we're gonna try it out. And I have to get pink nails because I asked my my baby niece what she wanted me to get and she told me pink. So this is your sign to do a physical and mental glow up for 2024 with me after you watch this video. Okay, I'm just coming out from getting my nails done and I am so obsessed with them. She did such an amazing job. I've got little chilies on them. They are so cute. She killed it. We love pink and red. They look so much better. I feel so much more myself with my nails done and they're short and I actually like them. But now it is workout time because we are entering our healthy girl era and I'm about to go on my first run in my new hokas. I'm very, very nervous. I've been putting it off for like the last 30 minutes, looking up good places to run. <laughs> like this isn't me, I have no idea what I'm doing. But anyway, let's just go and start moving our feet in a forward motion. I've driven to the lake because it was the flattest place I could think of. And why am I embarrassed? I'm like embarrassed to start running. It's not embarrassing trying new things. First minute of running. <laughs> Oh God, I'm so unfit. Now for one and a half minutes walking. <sighs> new year, new me. Three, two, now I've got a five minute cool down. Now my run is done. I'm so proud of myself for doing that guys. I feel like a healthy queen, but I'm also a starving healthy queen. So let's get some groceries to make a healthy lunch. Cause baby love. Mum's in the background doing her sit down exercises. I just smashed half of that tuna bowl. For some reason, I've been hit with the worst headache of my life. Why am I being punished for running? I was feeling so good and then all of a sudden, wham. Anyway, I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and hopefully that rejuvenates me. I'm all showered, feeling much better now and it is time to make our 2024 vision board. If you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically your inspiration for the year. So how you would want your ideal life to look in the coming year. So I've already gone down and written some of my New Year's kind of resolutions. One of them is running. So I'll just search up running aesthetic photo into Pinterest 
Pinterest and then find a photo that like sparks inspiration in me. Like this one of a couple running, that is gonna be Murray and I. I've also got some alarms for waking up early because girly needs to finally fix her sleep schedule this year. I say it every year, but it's gonna happen this year guys, I swear. A 1 million subscriber plaque, which I'm thinking I'm gonna like edit my name over the name that's on there just to manifest even more. So basically with a vision board, you get all of these photos that inspire you. There can be quotes as well, and you can stick it all onto like a poster board or a cork board and put it somewhere in your house that you look all the time. So you're reminded of your goals. Cause I didn't really have anything to remind me of my goals last year. And I think that's where I went wrong. And then after I'm done with this, I'm gonna save my my favorite ones and we'll go and print them out and get the materials to make the vision board. This is another quote that I like. It says, don't spend another year doing the same shit. I need that on my wall. I've also heard people say that it's even more helpful to do photos that are like from someone's POV. So like looking out to something rather than a photo of someone because it feels like you're actually doing that. You can envision yourself doing it more. And whilst I'm doing this, I am leaving any self doubt behind. Once this goes on my board, it's happening for me. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Good morning, guys. It is actually the next day because my headache turned into a migraine, which I woke up with this morning. But I just saved all of my vision board photos onto my phone. So now I can go to Officeworks to print them out. I think I've got 38 in total. Here is a look. Okay, let's go to Officeworks. So little update, right as I tried to pay. Susie? I tried to pay and it's not working and it took my money, but it's not giving me my photos. So I just asked for help. It's still not working. She's trying to fix it for me. They're still trying to sort it out. So they just said I can go and do a shop whilst they do that. So I'm gonna go and grab the rest of the supplies for the vision board. Okay, this looks like what I need. And I'm also gonna need some glue. I don't know what glue is gonna be the best for this. Elmer's? Maybe just a glue stick. Well, just my luck that the whole entire system happened to crash right as I placed my order. So they gave me a refund and now I'm on my way to Kmart. I know at this point it must seem like I do these things to make my videos seem more chaotic, but this is just my everyday life. Something has to go wrong. Look at this t-shirt that Murray's sisters gave me for Christmas. My patience be lacking, but my ass is packing. You know it. It's like 12 a.m. right now, and I don't know if I have it in me to put this vision board together tonight, but this is a physical and mental glow up, and I need a fake tan on me. ASAP. One thing people don't tell you about wearing SPF on your face every day is that you are gonna go pale as a ghost. How cute is this bikini though? From White Fox? And I'm about to get tan all over it. I made a mistake the other day. Now I have this. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be tan. I've been putting this off for so long because it's just like such an effort. And you know what I just realized? I don't have Murray here to do my back. He's literally been doing my back for the past six years. By the way, guys, we hit six years recently. Our anniversary was on New Year's. That's wild. Why is my upper lip sweating? Stop it. I got gifted a brand new Baddest Bod tan at the White Fox event. And they also gave me their Glow Face and Body Tanning Drops. So I'm gonna try these out on my face. And a brand new tan mint. Ooh, a virgin. I'm just gonna spray like that much. That might have been too much. You're kidding. There is a fly. I don't know what it is, but flies have just been like coming for me thinking that I'm their queen lately. You're messing with the wrong girl. Ooh. I think it's trying to mate with me. Before, after. And the other arm. Oh yeah. I haven't used this tan in a while, but she's looking good. I also already shaved earlier today and exfoliated. I think the belly is one of my favorite parts. It just hits different. Instant abs. My light just died. And I've already got some moisturizer on and I'm just gonna put these face drops right over the top. 
maybe like that much. I just do it by vibe. So I may have gone a little bit heavy handed with the tan and my mum won't stop making fun of me because I have orange feet. I want to put my vision board together, but my room and the bathroom is a mess. Clean room equals clean mind. This is the floor right now. Now, to be fair, I have my Christmas presents that like I have nowhere to put because I'm not in my actual house. I have also managed to make the bathroom a hot mess as well. I can't keep living like this, so let's clean it up. I'm also entering my reading era for 2024. I've been reading The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. To be honest, I didn't realize it was young adult. Molly gave me a couple book recommendations and one of them was that Akitar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And she was saying like, you know, sexy fairy sex. My mom watches these videos. Mum and dad just ignore that, but she was saying that that book is like R-rated, fairies, getting down to it. And I got them mixed up. I thought this was that book. So I was reading this, like when are the fairies gonna start mingling, getting jiggy with it? But that's because this is a young adult book, but it's getting a bit more spicy towards the end. So I'm still enjoying it. Okay, I'm just putting off cleaning my room now. Let's do this. <laughs> cleaning my room last night and the bathroom and making my vision board. It took me two hours and it looks so good. I actually meant for the 2024 is my year bit to be in the exact middle, but from the way I was looking at it, it looked like it was in the middle. So that kind of kills me a bit that it's completely off center. It took me so long to figure out like how I wanted to put it together, but I ended up putting all of my habits and everything on this side. Cause I feel like you read from left to right and doing these every day is gonna lead me to my goals, which I put over here. And up top I've done kind of my personal personal goals. I have like champagne glasses and keys here because I would love to buy a house this year. Fingers crossed. I also have a puppy because I've been wanting a dog for so long and I'm really hoping that this is the year that we get one. And travel destinations that I want to go to. And then down here is my career goals. So there's actually a lot more career goals than personal goals. I of course have a million subscriber plaque, which I actually edited it. So it said Susie J Todd on the million subscriber plaque. I also have red carpet over here because I would love to do more red carpets this year. I did the TikTok one this year, which was awesome. Oh, I have Charlotte Tilbury PR because it would be an absolute dream to get Charlotte Tilbury PR this year. I mean, I could go explaining every bit, but I think that vision boards are personal and I would definitely recommend like making this at home and doing your own one. And all up, this literally cost me like $10 to make. And of course, if all of this stuff doesn't happen in 2024, that's okay. It's just something that I'm working towards. And if it doesn't happen this year, then I'm not gonna let that discourage me. Oh, I also have a girl in a theater right here because I would love to get back into like acting and musical theater. I used to do it a lot in school and I just completely fell out of the hobby. But that is something that I wanna try getting back into this year because I do not have enough hobbies. And I'm excited to see what on this vision board comes to life in 2024. Now that the mental glow up is finally done. It is time for the physical glow up. First thing being hair dye. I got this ammonia free hair dye because I heard that ammonia is really bad for you. So I tried to get, this one looked more natural, but I have all of these white hairs on the top of my head. I could embrace them. I could be natural, but 
I don't want to. I also came home to this package from Alani Nu. They sent me a bunch of these Kimade energy drinks, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. Time to dye this hair. I did want to book into a hairdresser, but I couldn't get in until the 31st of January and I don't have that time. Even though I've never dyed my hair by myself before, I figure there's a first for everything. Will I regret this? Probably, but I'm used to regretting my life choices. Here's a little before of the back of my hair. And my ends are so dead, so I'm gonna get mum to cut them later. It's called Clairol Natural Instincts. And I got the color Medium Golden Brown. I was just gonna dye my white hairs, but I just decided before that I'm just gonna dye my entire head. I thought it was gonna come with one of those little brushes, but it doesn't. So I guess we're just raw dogging this with my hands. Should I section my hair? I probably should, shouldn't I? Never mind, I don't have any sectioning clips. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to do it like this. Welcome to Susie's Hair Salon. No refunds allowed. Taking this bad boy and then just squeeze this into here and shake her up. Maybe I should call him. I'm gonna start on my gray hairs. There's no going back now. I don't know if this is enough to do my whole head. And a little dollop here. Oh my God, this is already taking so long. Should I just start like, yeah, that's working. Try not to drop it on the floor. Have you seen those videos where people get their hair done in Bali and the hairdresser's like, <gasps> oh, she's stanky. At all the hairdressers, how's my technique? The only ever time I've used like a box dye is when I begged my mum to do a balayage bleach on me. So we got bleach and mum watched a tutorial and did my balayage and it was literally a straight line. It was iconic though. I've really gone from spending $450 at the hair salon to doing box dye. I prefer this. I just dropped it on the floor again. I can't even tell what I'm doing. I have no idea. Oops. Mom's gonna kill me. You know, whatever I do, it can't be as bad as when I cut my hair into a bob. Cause the Willy Wonka cut was not the vibe. Oh no, I'm almost out. And I haven't done my whole head. Kind of tempted to like put a little bit on my forehead to give myself a snatched forehead. But that's probably not good for my brain. Okay, consensus is in. I definitely needed two boxes, but it's too late now. That's it. I'm just gonna, it's like a hair mask. This has taken me like 20 minutes to apply this and I'm supposed to wash it off in 20 minutes. You know, as long as my gray hairs are gone, I'm happy. There's so much more in there. I think that's all I can do at this point. It's not as thoroughly saturated as I would have liked, but it's gonna have to be good enough because I don't have any more. Now I'm just gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and I will see when it's time to wash it out. It's been well over 20 minutes, so it's time to wash it out and I'm just gonna use this NAC Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner to wash it out in the shower. And now I am freshly showered. Also, I don't know if this is normal, but I was eating potato bake whilst I was waiting for the hair dye to set in and my potato bake tasted like hair dye. Not sure if that's very good for me. I also lost so much hair in the shower. Like I usually lose a lot of hair, but that was a concerning amount of hair. Don't know if that's normal, but let's reveal the hair now that it is washed. It's really not that exciting. I still have white hairs. Anyway, it is time to cut my hair. I'm just gonna give it a trim because the ends are so dead, but I'm not gonna do it myself. I'm gonna get the most experienced hairdresser I know who has been doing my hair since I was literally an infant. Mom! And welcome my hairdresser. <laughs> Mom. All right, come on. Probably all the hairdressers in the world are gonna go, what is she doing? Well, this is what I'm doing. That was quick. No hesitation. Where am I gonna put all of this? How is she doing guys? I okay. can't see. Okay, yeah, I just wanna straighten it up. I think that's all right. 
That was the quickest haircut I've ever gotten. Well, I could have put a bowl on your head and cut around it. Maybe okay. next video. Is it even? Even? Let's have a look. No. <laughs> I don't know if you should be cutting it from that way. Well, I'm just getting there. That's how much she cut off. Thank you, Mum. It's okay. Bye. I'll rate you five stars on Google. That's all right. I'll send you the bill later. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so uneven at the front. I've decided I want to go a little bit shorter. So I brought mum back. Oh, okay, can I cut now? Okay, we're gonna do one more inch off because I feel like it's still too long. Well, uh, how do you feel like it's still too long? Well, it's What is just... this feeling? Hang on. That looks like more than an inch. Well, that's way more than an inch. You didn't even, my hair wasn't even fully back then. <laughs> Look at that. It's quite amazing actually. I've done a really good job here. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Maybe this should be your next. Oh, it's good. Maybe you should come out of retirement to become a hairdresser. No, I think this is probably after, after anybody sees this. I don't think I'm going to get any jobs here. Coming to a salon near you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah? That was straight for some reason. For some reason. I don't know how it ended up straight, but it did. All right, done. Thank you. Now don't call me back again. No, I won't. Now that is short enough. For the next step of our glow up, it is time to tweeze these brows and sort out this mustache. My mustache is now longer than Murray's, so it's time to give her a pluck. Yes, I pluck my mustache. I don't think it hurts that bad. I'm just so used to it. I've been doing it for years now, so I think I've killed all the nerves. And I also bought some face razors today because I'm gonna shave around my eyebrows and I think I wanna shave the ends of my eyebrows off again. Here's a close up of the mustache before. I mean, she's actually not that bad. And here are my eyebrows before, but I think they're definitely gonna look better with that taken off. Just gonna use my trusty tweezer man tweezers that I've literally had for like five years now and they're still just so good. And now for the brows. Now I'm gonna take this face razor and shave around my brows. Maybe I should just do my mustache as well for the lols. And there she is in all her glory. I'm really bold using my phone as a mirror right now. Here is my brows after. I mean, they would look way better if I dyed them. And here's my mustache. You might be like, Susie, what the heck are you doing on your toilet, low cup? I'm on the loo because we're doing an at-home facial. And this was the only place I could think of to steam my face with my trolley right here. If I hadn't cleaned the toilet earlier, I wouldn't be doing this on the toilet. But I just have very, very congested pores and blackheads on my nose. So I just wanna do like a really deep pore cleansing facial. I do not have a facial steamer, but I do have an electric kettle and a towel and a bowl. So I'm just gonna put this boiled water into this bowl. Oh, and then I'm literally just gonna like put the towel over my head and my face over the steam. I can't breathe. I just had the most genius idea. I don't have a facial steamer, but I do have a handheld garment steamer. And I mean, steam is steam. As long as I hold it far away from my face, it's gonna do the same thing. Let's just turn it away from our face first. I am a genius. It's literally steaming my face. Hot tip, if you don't have a facial steamer and you do have a garment steamer, use that actually I don't want anyone getting burnt, so maybe don't listen to me. This literally feels so good. I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. Look how steamy my face is getting. Oh, God, that scares me when it makes that noise. This is amazing. 
my skin feels so good but while my pores are open i'm gonna do an oil cleanse to like cleanse all of the sebaceous filaments aka the little kind of blackhead looking things around my nose and the clogged pores we're gonna clean them out i have these ones from conserving beauty and they're so good at taking off makeup and these are actually dissolvable like you can put these in water and they completely dissolve and i'm just gonna do this and try and exfoliate Oh my God, my face is wet and these dissolve. <gasps> I'm just gonna squeeze the oil out. Really focusing on where I have more congestion, like around my nose and on my cheeks and on my forehead, honestly, my whole face. I'm kind of like giving myself a facial massage at the same time. If I had my gua sha right now, I'd be gua sha -ing. I did that for like three minutes. Now I'm just gonna wash my face with water and my trusty dusty wrist guards to stop the water from going up my arms. These are the best. And here is my skin after. It feels so good, but we're not done yet. So I cleaned my little blackhead extractor and I am gonna just do some of the biggest ones. Can you see that? That actually cleansed my pores really well because like nothing is coming out. Now I'm gonna double cleanse with this vitamin C cleansing foam from Esfolio. I got this for Christmas. It's a Korean skincare brand. Just to make sure that all of that oil is off before I do a face mask. And it's good to double cleanse anyway. Wash this off. Dry. And now it's time to do a face mask. I got this one from Chemist Warehouse. I don't know, it was pretty cheap. It's called the Skin Clarity Face Mask by Skin Republic. Glycolic peel off. I thought it was fun because it's blue and it peels off. It improves skin clarity and radiance. Oh my God, I have to leave this on for 30 minutes. It's 12.30. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I can't be bothered, but I'm doing it. Oh my God, it's like metallic. It literally looks like the most beautiful night sky. Oh, it smells like nail polish remover. <laughs> Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. Now that I'm blue, da -ba -de -dum -da. I'm just going to wait 30 minutes and wash this off. I mean, peel it off. Duh. Peel off my Susie, you bloody idiot. It's 1.30 a.m. guys. I am so ready for sleep. Let's peel this mask off. I hope this is satisfying. <gasps> it sounds like sticky tight. I think it just waxed my sideburns. Two in one. Oh, this is so satisfying. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> I feel like I'm um, the guy in American Psycho right now. <gasps> it's me. Oh. Uh. The old me, the new me. Well, I loved every second of that. My skin feels very clean and quite smooth, actually. Now for my skincare, I got some new products for Christmas from my mum. And I just wanted to be like all of the get ready with me 17 year olds on TikTok. I got the Glow Recipe Kit from Mecca and they're just so cute, like the bottles and everything. First, I put on the toner and I just like pat that in. And then with the dew drops, Oh, it smells so good. And then the moisturizer. Two pumps and apply. Stunning. Okay, and now I am ready for bed. So good night, guys. I will see you in the morning to finish off the glow up. Good morning, guys. It is a new day and let's glow up. I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning and I am proud of myself. I'm gonna do my hair first and I wanna do like big voluminous curls. So I just put it in a plait last night and it's still kind of wet, but oh my God, look at this color. I know hairdressers say that you can tell the difference between the professional hair dye and box dye, but honestly, it looks the exact same to me. People may think different, but I reckon it looks good. I'm gonna use my trusty Dyson Airwrap round brush to try and smooth out my frizz. I also got the viral TikTok hair product of the year, the Color Wow Dream Coat. And it's basically just to stop your hair from getting frizzy after like styling it. I think this 
this is a heat protectant as well, but just to be safe, I'm going to put on some heat protectant beforehand. So I'm going to use this Day of Grace from Evo. Never forget to use heat protectant, guys. Apparently, you're supposed to douse your hair in this, so I'm going to do that. No matter what, my hair always goes frizzy after I curl it. So this is gonna be a good test on my hair to see if it actually works. wand and give myself big voluminous curls. I am so excited to use this. I also got this for Christmas from my mum. The Muck Curl Stick 2.0. I've actually never used a curling wand before but I saw Brie using one and her hair looks so good all the time and so shiny when she uses it. These are all of the different barrel sizes. I wanted to get ones that had like you could do little curls with them and big curls. Okay I think I'm gonna use this slender long one. I am really glad it comes with a heat proof glove because I will probably burn myself multiple times if I didn't have this. And apparently you just grab it like this and twist around. I don't know how long to hold for. And then grab it, scrunch. Also, I'm twisting the strands away from my face. Moment of truth. <gasps> it's so curly. ugly. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I'm just gonna trust the process. Give her a scrunch. Ow, that is so freaking hot. Ow, ow. I had to let go. That was burning my hand. The ends are kind of like flaccid. Oh no, the temperature's doing it again. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video where the girl grabs the curling iron with her bare hands? That triggers me. And now it is finally time for the most exciting part, which is the makeup. This is my inspo for the makeup. I don't actually have anywhere to go, but you know I'm about to take some bomb ass pictures after I get done up. Pro tip, if you have dry under eyes like me, use an eye cream before you put on your makeup. Just a little bit. And you can also put it in any dry areas that often get cakey or you get dry patches like around my nose I do. And it just makes your base go on so much smoother. One more thing that I've been liking to do recently is especially like today when I am really tired because I didn't get enough sleep, my eyes go so red and I feel like it just does not look the best in pictures and stuff. So I use a bit of this clear eyes. I heard about this on TikTok, but I actually had to go behind the counter and ask the pharmacist for it, which was kind of concerning. Apparently it's not good to use this that often. It just gives you like brighter, wider eyes. Oh, one. Two. I don't know if it's the fact we're leaving for the Gold Coast tomorrow and I haven't packed a thing or the two energy drinks I had consecutively, but my anxiety was just so high, but we're in my room now, we're on my bed and I'm ready to do my makeup finally. I got this new brow pencil from Emco Beauty because I ran out of my other one. They're actually looking nice and cleaned up though now that I plucked them and shaved around them. I don't like this brow pencil. Sorry, Emco Beauty. I like their other products, but not this. I'm just gonna clean around with a makeup wipe. I'm not gonna do like super fluffy brows. I'm just gonna brush them into place. One of my brows always has to misbehave and today it's this one. They're giving orange, but I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just around my nose where my pores are bigger. And usually I'll do my face first, but I'm doing like quite a colorful makeup look. So I think I'm gonna do my eyes first. Just gonna use a bit of this Kosas Concealer to prime my eyes and also carve out the under side of my brows, blending that out. And now the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use is the Cosmos by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And she is gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the pinky shades in this for the glitters. And I don't have any colorful palettes here except for this old Morphe one. This is a relic. And I think I'm gonna just start with this kind of like dusty rose color up here as a transition shade. Also, I didn't get a pedicure in this glow up and I'm probably not gonna get a pedicure for a really long time because I lost someone very special to me. 
and that is my big toenail. Pro tip, do not stuff tissues into the toes of your heels because they're too big and then fall over because you're so drunk multiple times because you might just end up killing your big toenail and it will rot away and it will hang there for like three months. And then one day you'll feel this funny thing in your shoe and it's your big toenail. I'm gonna try and darken it up with this darker rose shade. Now I'm just gonna take like this really small brush and kind of do the shadow of that cut crease, the darker part. It was kind of a pinky purpley look. So I'm gonna use this color here and I'm just gonna go right on top of where I want that cut crease to be and wing it out. Wow, I actually did that so well. I forgot how good I am at makeup. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this color Supernova in the Anastasia palette with my middle finger because she's the most effective. This is the one thing that's great about having short fingernails is being able to do the shimmer. I'm just gonna clean up underneath with a makeup wipe. The same one I used earlier because we're resourceful. I like hardly ever use liquid liner anymore. I usually just use powder, but this Rare Beauty liquid liner is the best, but I am so out of practice. I did have to clean it up like 10 times, but we got there in the end. I'm gonna add shadow to the under eyes, but after I've done my base makeup. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes first. This eyelash curler is so cute, but my eyelashes get stuck in it so often and rips out my eyelashes and it hurts so bad. But like, I just bought this and now I don't wanna buy a new eyelash curler. I really just got it cause it was bedazzled. I mean, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes a little because I'm gonna put fake lashes on. <gasps> it's done it. Oh no. Oh, I hate this thing. Like what kind of design is this that your eyelashes literally get stuck in the corner? Oh, can we see that? <gasps> oh, oh we. Trash. Heart. I want my eyelash back. Just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna put lashes on. I haven't put lashes on in so long, but I got these ones that were on sale for $6.99. Bargain. I feel like that's a really pretty natural lash. I just applied the other one off camera because I'm filling up my memory card so quick. Now to start for the base makeup, I'm going to grab a bit of the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops and some of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which is seriously on its last legs. These just give the nicest glow to your makeup. And some of the bronzing drops, I'm gonna mix it in. This is a foundation brush I got from Kmart, but I kinda love it. I've had my fake tan on for days now and it's starting to fade, but I have some like instant tan stuff that I'm gonna put on. So I am gonna do my foundation a little bit darker, but don't worry, we'll even it out with the instant tan. Now for foundation, I'm gonna mix a couple. And yes, they're both from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush. Flawless foundation, I just bought this. I'm gonna mix this with the beautiful skin foundation, which is my usual go-to. This one's a lot more full coverage, but I kinda want a medium coverage. This is a lot of foundation. I'm about to do that Meredith girls technique apparently. I don't have anything to mix this with. I'm just gonna do my fingies. I just wasted so much foundation. Why did I do that? Gonna blend it in with a brush first. It's giving mustard. <laughs> and then blending it out with a sponge. Damp, of course. I look like I'm wearing a face mask, but I still have so much more on my hand, I'm just gonna have to waste it. That's like $20 right there. So I got a sample of the Hourglass Concealer and I'm gonna use this. I think I will buy the full thing. They didn't have my shade, so the girl gave me a sample, but I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner. Look how full coverage that is. That is insane. On the outer corner, that was satisfying. On my chinny chin chin and my foreheady head head and blender in. You guys know I have genetic dark circles. My under eyes have never looked this bright. And I'm gonna do cream bronzer first and then set it with powder bronzer. And I also love that like supermodels heaps of blush look. I'm gonna use the Hope Liquid Blush by Rare Beauty. And I'm gonna do it like right up to my temples. And I like to take it like right under my eye here as well. And now I definitely need to bake because I'm already a grease ball. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty powder in Cherry Blossom with my little triangle puff here. Dip it in, pat, 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 and then press while looking up. Literally just tapping it in where I get oily. So like everywhere. Oh my God, I forgot to contour my nose. It's a travesty. Taking a little fluffy brush, a little bit of bronzer, blend, 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 down the nose. Trying not to look like I smeared poo on my face. Well, my camera overheated 
again. All I did though was put some highlighter on. I just did a freckle for my little beauty mark here. And I added some under eye kind of liner and a bit of glitter and inner corner wings. And I think it looks so good. I actually love how the makeup has turned out, but we need lips, obviously. For the lips, I'm gonna use this Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Sunkissed Pink. My baby niece had a go with it and <laughs> the top has come off, but I'm just gonna be very careful. And I'm just overlining my lips with this as well like so. And then for a bit of gloss, my friend Xanthia put me onto these Marajuka Juicy Lips from Tarte. This one is in Rose. It's like a lip balm, but a really good tinted lip balm. And they're actually really hydrating. Oh my God, this makeup looks so good. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. The best, I just got a new one. And here is the finished makeup look. I call it the Cat Eye Strawberry Shortcake Sexy Makeup Look. I feel so good right now in this makeup. Ah! I got this airbrush legs by Sally Hansen and it's basically like makeup for your skin. I've heard that this is what all the celebs use before they go on the red carpet. And I figured because my tan has basically completely come off, I'm just gonna use this and it'll give us like an instant tan. It says just to spray it into your hand, like so, and then apply. It just feels like moisturizer. Okay, let's try it on the arms. Oh my God, it's like a spray tan in a bottle. Here is before and here is after. This stuff is amazing. How have I never used this before? Rubber in. Okay, I'm gonna put it all over off camera, but before I do the outfit reveal, I'm just going to brush out these curls. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you guys to see the final look. And I don't know if that dream wow stuff worked because my hair is still frizzy. Okay, that is the hair all brushed out. It kind of turned into loose waves, but I feel like it still looks really cute. And I actually had a brand send me some jewelry. It's from Zafino. They offered to send me some pizzas, which is perfect. So thank you, Zafino. That jewelry I was wearing earlier, the love hearts, they were from Zafino. But I chose out this necklace. Ugh, I can't. Oh, oh, it's a box. <laughs> Well, of course it's a box, Susie. Oh my God, I forgot I got this. It's like this gorgeous, snaky kind of necklace. I can't remember what these are called. And I got these gorgeous earrings. They are beautiful. This ring is so pretty. I'm pretty sure I got their larger size because I was like, I've got big fingers. I've got big chonkers. I think I'm gonna put on these big boys. Bear with me. Those are so pretty. And I think I wanna wear this chain. There's the necklace. She's so pretty and shiny. I also have this little cuff from White Fox. My wrist is too thick. I'm triggered. Oh. oh wait, I just had it turned the wrong way. And now for the glow up final outfit reveal. I've been really trying, baby. <coughs> trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And here is the final glow up look. I am absolutely obsessed with this. This dress is from White Fox, by the way. It is this gorgeous diamante little mini dress. I feel amazing right now and I cannot wait to take some pictures. So follow me on Instagram at Susie J Todd if you wanna see those. I'm obsessed with everything, the nails, the hair, the makeup. Honestly, the physical glow up is just a bit of fun, but the important thing is that you are taking care of your mental health. So please don't put too much pressure on yourself for 2024. New Year's resolutions are a made up thing. Time is a made up thing. We're just little tiny ants floating on a big ball in space in the universe. And life is all about just appreciating what you've already got. Ah! 
think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. Even though the physical stuff was fun, I think my absolute favorite part of this glow up was making the vision board. If you're still watching to this point, comment down below your biggest goal for 2024. I feel like that would be so fun and we can hype each other up in the comments. I am rooting for all of you guys and I believe that you will get everything that you want this year. The world is your oyster. I'm so excited to be back from my break and sorry to everyone who was waiting for a video. I did take a long break. My biggest goal is to consistently upload on YouTube this year and you guys can hold me to that. I suddenly started sweating. Is it hot in here? No, seriously, I am posting consistently this year. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. It helps me out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You're welcome here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. And a belly is cute, but a Diamante belly is even cuter. Love you guys. Bye. I'm going to take some pictures now.